Dave from the Crafted Channel. I love all things camping and recreational and mechanical gizmos and bushcrafting and all that stuff. This is a trailer for a jet ski, a single trailer for a jet ski. And my wife, when she was um, cutting the grass, and yes, she enjoys cutting the grass, applause, applause, she hit this with the mower and broke it off. So she, it's busted and we're going to fix it. And hey, you know what? That weed's bugging me. And every man that's a man carries a knife, right? Let's get that thing out of our out of the way of disturbing us. Okay. Now how this mount is held is it's uh, the head of this bolt slides up in this slot and pulls the flanges of this slot up against the uh, the bracket here. And you can see that the heads have pulled out this section of the plastic. The bolts are long enough. I can fix this just by drilling through the plastic here and, and putting the head of the bolt on the inside. Now we're going to need a few tools for doing this. I got my knife in case I need to carve the holes I drill. I've got a punch so I can indent the plastic and help drill a, a hole centered better. I have a triangle file in case these are carriage bolts and have a square uh, feature under the head. I may need to make my round hole square. I need this 7 16 uh, ratchet and socket to uh, get the nuts off. And I need some caulking. This is a trailer that's meant to go in the water. And if there's an air leak here, when you submerge the back of the trailer, water will go up through the light bulb uh, service hatch here and slowly raise up and get to the contacts and damage the uh, bulbs and the wiring and all that. So we have to seal this. Hi, kitty cat. So I'm going to remove the bulbs here first. Ooh, boy, that's really tough. This, by the way, is a Blazer brand 6424. A lot of lights are held on in this similar fashion. And there's our fixtures. And notice how high in the fixture the bulbs are. So water could raise up in here a little bit and not damage anything. And your waterproof fixtures are usually designed something like this. And this isn't ruined or anything, so we want to go ahead and use it. So the first thing I'm going to do is remove these fasteners. Oh, I didn't get a deep enough socket. Okay, so we're not operating to perfection. I had to go change sockets. This is actually a 10 millimeter fastener. And notice there's a ground wire here. Very common thing on a tail light. We're going to want to replace that. Here's the piece of plastic that broke out. Don't want to lose our fasteners. I have a rag here I'm going to put on the ground to lay my pieces in so they don't get lost amongst the leaf litter. See, I got that loose. And yes, these are carriage bolts. They have a uh, square head underneath of them. And that's the kind of bolt that you can work with where you don't need a fastener for the other side if you have a square hole or a recess to pull it into. The other piece of plastic, you can see the square head under, under the round here. This, that's called a carriage bolt. Now I need to put that hole in the middle of this slot. And about right here is where the head was. And I'm just going to push that really hard with my hand. Kind of wiggle it around. That should be enough. Let's see if I can drill this hole and stay on center now. And it's going to want to wander, of course. There we go. Something like a little indentation to make drilling easier. And if you don't have a, a punch with a point, you could do that with a nail, big nail. There we go. Simple enough. Now we need to fit. We need to file these holes square so that the square under the head of the fastener and the carriage bolt will be uh, engaged. I'm just going to do that with a triangular file. Oops. Need a better work surface out here. 
doing this on my hands and knees, working like a squirrel on the ground. I don't recommend that. And hey, if you clicked on this video, well, you'll just have to watch me file for a minute. There, look how square that hole is. It's amazing what you can do with a file. Now this fastener will be coming through from the inside when we get done. I don't suppose it has to, but that's the way it was originally going in that direction. I need to work a little bit more on my hole. Wasn't quite square enough. Let's try that again. If I can coordinate it. There we go. Square pulls into the hole now, so I won't need to, anything to hold that. And let's do. this one here. The files work really fast in plastic. If you don't have a triangular file, I recommend you get one. Very handy tool for stuff like this. Contest. I'm going to show you my, uh, see if my, my hole's a little more square here than here, I think. See if I got this better. And I think I need to open it up just a little more. Just filing these, uh, flat surfaces out a little bit. There we go. Locks in now. Before we install the fasteners, we want to put some caulking on them. Remember, this is a sealed air vessel, kind of like an inverted cup in the water. It's open on the bottom but not on the top. So if no air can get out the top, no water can come up through the bottom. That's how submersible lights work. And uh, camping trailers and things like that won't have this style light, so you wouldn't need to, uh, wouldn't need to worry about this. But any, any uh, boat or ski trailer, you'd need to seal this stuff up. Might have gotten just a little sloppy with the, with the sealant there. Well, there's no doubt about it, I got a lot sloppy with the sealant. That's okay, we have a rag out here. We can wipe things off. Washers on, flat washers first. I'm going to put the ground wire on on this side. We don't want to forget that. Hold our hold our fasteners. Putting on the lock washers, and we're going to start a nut. Keep all that from falling apart. Beautiful. Oops, I'm going to lose that in the leaf litter. Need to be blocking the shot. Here we go. We'll 
snug these up. Just kind of a hard snug. Notice how small of a ratchet I'm using. How close I'm holding it to the center gives you an idea of how gently I'm tightening those. The lock washers have a little tooth in them that bites into the surface here and the bottom of the nut that prevents it from uh, coming loose. Light fixture, to put it back up in there carefully, this bulb ends up in the little side marker and this is our turn and, uh, and uh, marker light. This particular one, no fasteners, installs that. You can fix many trailer lights with this similar method if you knock them off. So there you go. It only takes a few minutes. You can do it yourself.